And yes, people will say, well, it cost us $100 million to train the system XYZ, which is why you should train it ethically to begin with. <laughs> so there should be high penalties instead of free passes. Welcome to the Unmasking AI Book Talk. I'm Karen Howe. I'm a journalist who covers artificial intelligence, and I'm so thrilled to be speaking today with Dr. Joy Buolamwini. But before we get to that, is there anything else that you would like to talk about? Oh, yes. Um, this is actually what I wanted to talk about with the TED AI uh, talk where I listened to my body and I said, OK, not today, not today. But it is um, around this notion of algorithmic redress. And so oftentimes when we hear conversations about ethical AI, responsible AI and so forth, there is a conversation of what we can do to prevent AI harms or build better models, better auditing approaches, and so forth. But we also have to keep in mind we're not going to get it right all the time. So what happens for the people who are harmed by AI systems, who I like to call the X-coded? And so this notion of redress comes into play. That's part of also why we've built out our X-coded experiences uh, platform with AJL. So coming to this notion one way of thinking about redress is what do we do with existing AI models that have been trained on data taken without permission on consent, and especially mm -hmm. copyrighted data? Because some mm -hmm. people make an argument, oh, it's for the commons, et cetera, and so forth. OK, let's, let's put that aside, because that's its own conversation. This one said copyright. <laughs> What's the reason now? <laughs> we're, we're playing it out in the courts. So my thought here is redress can also look like going back to models that were trained with stolen data or uncompensated data, or you can say contested data. So you delete the data, but the data isn't enough. Right, because you can train a model and then delete the data. This is what Facebook did. Facebook uh, deleted a billion face prints after there was a lawsuit and a settlement, et cetera, about their use of people's face images, right? But they kept the models that they had created with it. So I think you also need to delete the models if they were created uh, with data gotten in unethical ways. Then there's another part, it's not just deleting the models. Now you have to reconfigure the products that were built on top of those models. So this mm -hmm. is something I've been thinking about as uh, deep data deletion, hence D3, but also mm -hmm. those three steps of deleting the data, deleting the models and deleting uh, the product uh, integration. So I do think that should be part of redress. And yes, people will say, well, it cost us $100 million to train the system XYZ, which is why you should train it ethically to begin with. <laughs> so there should be high penalties instead of free passes, you know, if the models um, are done in uh, illegal ways or lawful yet awful ways. I think that's such an important point that this, the way that we're currently, I don't think we're having enough of a conversation yet about how to actually get redress, how to actually make sure that people's data is protected and fully private. Um, so I really love that concept, D3. Nobody stop, everyone turn on your facial, facial recognition block. We're here to make a plan can't nobody stop. Everyone turn on your facial, facial recognition block. We're here to make a plan can't nobody stop. 